Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1 927 6648 or internationally at 727 873 7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. <clears throat> Raining very hard here in the Pueblo in Tucson, Arizona today, so hopefully the Internet will be okay. Why it happens that way, I don't know. But anyway, uh, we take a look at the FTSE chart. As you can see, we've made a massive top up here. Possibly, of course, we can go a lot higher. But uh, it's basically, that's the weekly chart. But the one that I really wanted to focus on this morning, folks, was the Hang Seng Index because uh, we were showing this uh, last week and the week before that we were making that 78% level up there at the 29,000 level. And then you can see today we've gapped down quite a bit. Uh, partially responsible for this is the downgrade that Tommy talked about. Uh, Moody's dropped it from a 3 to a 2, I think, or something like that. But uh, that's a breakaway uh, down move. That means it's probably going to go a great deal lower. But look at this, folks. From the time they started rioting over there, and complaining back in August, look what the market did. It went from 25,000 to 29,000 in the midst of a, you know, nearly threw over the government over there. So that's where the technicians uh, kind of help you out because even though there was blood on the streets, the prices were still going higher. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with this. I happened to be in Guangzhou, China. I believe it was 2003 either three or four, yeah, it was three, I think, uh, when, when uh, the SARS epidemic broke out. And I had just uh, have given uh, two speeches there to the universities there in Guangzhou. And when I uh, uh, was getting ready to leave, uh, I, I, I didn't see anything wrong anywhere. There was no uh, panic. Nobody was wearing anything, mask or anything like that. When I got home, I, I, I saw the news that, my God, it looked like the bubonic plague had hit the place. Now, there's been six people die of this uh, coronavirus in China. Now, just to give you an idea how, how big six is, you have to put a six on top and put the 1.4 billion, 12 zeros. So it's not quite a bad thing yet, but it certainly could be because these viruses, once they start, can be very, very terrible. They've also been posting fake news about the fact that there's been 118 cases reported in Hong Kong, and that's baloney. You know, that's uh, neither here nor there. Remember, folks, back in uh, the turn of, the, well, back in the dark ages when we had the bubonic plague, that that took about 20% of the whole population of the world out. So that, that was something that was, uh, you know, really quite, uh, quite a big deal. Anyway, we'll just keep moving on. Okay, now, um, Let's just uh, talk just a little bit about one other market that I wanted to mention uh, very closely, and that is the uh, the natural gas, folks. We've had a big, big move down in natural gas overnight. I wanted to give – first, I'm going to get up and show you the long-term weekly chart because we were down at – yeah, hold on here. We'll see. Uh, I, no, actually, I was on Columbus's boat uh, on the way over in 1492. Let's take a look here. You'll notice here from 2012, we're making down into this area. Now, we we, we gapped down, uh, I think, 11 cents in natural gas last night, folks. Uh, actually, Sunday night. I mean, it was a really, really big drop. I'll, I'll highlight it for you here in just a second. It doesn't look quite this bad when you look at it the way it is right now, but it... Uh, hold on here. We'll get this up here. You'll see here that we got down to uh, 83 we gapped down from uh, 2000, we dropped down 20, 20 points. We dropped, that's $2,000 drop in natural gas Sunday night. And you can see uh, they cleared all the stops out. And if you've been watching it, when the market hit 183, the next trades after that were at 190. So they went in, who, I'm not saying who they is, the they is whoever they are, but uh, that's basically what happened. There was That tells you that that's a major bottom down there at that 183 level. And the fact we're trading at 195 this morning is another uh, interesting thing uh, to look at. That's a very, very important thing to pay attention to. Okay, let's move on to one of the other things that I wanted to cover today. 877-927-6648. If you have any questions, I want to bring this to your attention here, and that is the the dollar 
excuse me, the Japanese yen versus the dollar and its relationship to gold because it has a very high correlation, as you can see here. You can see here that gold has not been moving up with this, the last move here, when we cleared that level here, uh, th th this 110 level uh, is giving the market a little bit of a problem, folks. <clears throat> this tells me that the risk off might be coming. I don't know. The gold chart does not look very good. It, <clears throat> last night in the gold, those of you that take the 24-7, you'll notice that we had a perfect ABCD at the 382 retracement at 1160, excuse me, 15 Oh, give me one second here. So, at fifteen sixty-six, the market promptly dropped seventeen dollars uh, down to the fifteen forty-two, fifteen fifty-two level, fifteen fifty-one level, and so now what we're looking at is to see if this level should hold, and it should. We should hold fifteen fifty-one because if we don't hold fifteen fifty-one here in the gold. This is going to be extremely negative, folks. It really is. It's uh, just keep a really close eye on the gold because below fifteen fifty-one sets up. A, a whole lot of a lot lower action in these metals. That's uh, the way, especially in platinum, uh, which has been higher and went up to the fib point, and broke down. Silver still looks not doesn't look very good at all, but gold has to get above. 1575 uh, to increase its possibility of being in a longer term uptrend. Right now, it is not telling us that. Folks, remember that I am a, I'm a technician. I don't really follow the news as far as uh, anything that goes on in the world. I see what the news is. All I want to do is see how the market responds to that news. That's pretty much it. Now, today, uh, I'm going to go into this next segment a little bit, but I was watching the thing in Davos today because I've been there. It's an incredibly beautiful place. There in Switzerland, extremely expensive. I think McDonald, Big Macs are 18 bucks a piece. But uh, they had Ray Dalio on, and they had, um, and then they also had Paul Tudor Jones. And I listened to both of those gentlemen, and both of those gentlemen were very, very bullish on the stock market. They think that it's going to go up for another couple of years, and they're basing it because uh, the money just keeps pumping in, pumping in, pumping in, and cash is absolutely worthless. And uh, they thought the market was going to go higher and higher and higher and higher. And it probably will. Who knows? But I want to leave you when we come to the first break with uh, something here that might be of interest. This is the headlines of Barron's newspaper here today on Monday that it comes out. We'll get up here and take a look at it. You can see here they're talking about 30,000 in the Dow, the market's big run. So believe me, folks, when you start seeing it in the newspapers, be really careful. In March of 2000, we saw three major publications, Business Week, uh, uh, Business Week, uh, Time, and one other magazine that's not around anymore. I, I forget the three, the three major ones. All of them had NASDAQ 5,000 on it. Of course, that was a long, long time ago, but I'll, I'll bring that to your attention right now because uh, it was a long time ago. Let's get this up here so we can take a quick look at it. Where did I do it? Here it is, just to show you where we were. And the market gave back 85% of its value from 1999-2000 into 2002. So here's where we are now. I don't know if we're extended here in the NASDAQ here at uh, 92,000 or 92 million or 912, 900, 9,200. We'll have to wait and see. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of that Barron's newspaper. Uh, the next one I want to show you is from our good friend Tom Hugard, who will be our guest on Friday. He's just showing a very simple uh, – Ruby, I'll do my best to look at cattle and hogs in just a minute. Be happy to for you. Just a second here. You'll notice here uh, on the Dow chart going back over the past year and a half, we have these big ABCD patterns up in here. You can see the move that went 2,100 points, 2,100 points. Now, if you really want to have some fun with this, folks, and defy human nature, go back back and check the times that the market went up. Check to see if there was any similarity between those patterns on the way up because you're going to see it over and over again. So we'll watch it very, very closely. Yes, that that uh, nice sale at 1566 this morning turned out pretty good. Uh, Maria, we were very lucky in the gold today. Folks, when we're doing these patterns, it has nothing to do with luck and stuff. and has nothing to do with picking tops or bottoms. These are just pattern completions. That's all they are. That's what gives you the S, the, you, you know, the edge that you're looking at. Because when you have it, when you have your own trading system, you have to have an expect uh, expectancy of your average loss and what your average profit is going to be. The next thing you have to do is to consider what is your risk of ruin. In other words, if these patterns work all the time, you know, everybody would know that, but they don't work all the time. So you have to calculate, you know, what your risk of ruin is. How many losing trades can you possibly have, you know, before things go back? You know, that's the main thing. And the other thing that people get confused with is they, they don't consider the risk of ruin on their account size. These are some of the things that we're going to be covering in the webinar on the 29th. And I think you're going to like it. Uh, it's got a really great stuff. So you have to learn to, how to adjust your, your trade size and also what your risk is on just about every single trade, and that's where the harmonic numbers come in and help uh, help a great deal. So those are just a few of the ones that we're paying very, very close attention to here this morning. All right, let's move on to another one that I wanted to discuss, and this is another one from our good friend Tom Hugard, and he was uh, he follows the Dow because that's what he trades uh, almost every day, that and the DAX, but you notice this is a chart of Boeing Airlines. It's had a great deal of problems. You'll notice you can can see the uh, uh, he doesn't show it as a head and shoulders pattern. It's a nice smiley face, <laughs> but it is a head and shoulders pattern. And here again, defy human nature. Go back and look at the the, the left shoulder and look at the right shoulder. See if there's any symmetry between highs and lows. 
and see what you're looking at. But you see Dow, Boeing is 7.5 or 7.49 percent of the Dow. It's a heavily weighted stock in the Dow because it's the most expensive and the Dows are, are cap weighted. They're not, uh, I mean, price weighted. They're not cap weighted. And this means if this thing breaks down, that's going to take the Dow down with it. And I don't know. Of course, we've got Tesla on the other side that keeps the, you know, the uh, NASDAQ moving. But remember, when you're looking at that NASDAQ 100, folks, you're looking at about 20 stocks out of a lot. So this is a very interesting that we see here, very interesting time that we're watching. One other thing that was brought to my attention uh, over the weekend that I think would be interesting here is to take a look at how these uh, telecom co companies have, have basically control over all the media, everything coming out, folks. It's just uh, these four companies, Comcast, Cox Communications, Time Warner, and Charter Communications basically controlled everything that goes through the news. And uh, so it's uh, very interesting. But today's the day that they start the impeachment of uh, President uh, Trump. I remember back in uh, 99, 98, 99, when they did this with uh, President Trump. Uh, uh, Clinton, and so uh, how this works out, you know, we'll have to uh, have to wait and see. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. I did see something in in the Guardian over in London that someone sent me. One of our friends over there said that the uh, the leave of Megxit, uh, the Megxit thing with uh, Harry and Meghan leaving, would be the equivalent of uh, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, getting divorced and marrying Bill Clinton. He said that would be the same thing that's what happened in London. So it's a big deal over there. And I'm sure it's going to be in the news forever. Well, <laughs> paparazzi are going to make a big deal. Folks, let's just talk just a little bit about what's going on in the real world of technology. This next chart absolutely should blow you away because it's coming and it's coming quickly. This is a picture of Beijing at the airport in Beijing, China. And what this picture is showing you, the computer automatically grabs the face, puts it into facial recognition into an artificial intelligence program, and they know where you are within 15 minutes. That's a 30 million people in Beijing, folks. They have 1 million homeless in that uh, in that city. So if they can find you within 15 minutes, uh, we're going to be there very, very shortly. So let's move on to the next one. With Ruby here, she has to talk to us about the uh, the cattle and the hogs. We'll start out with the old moo cows, the best, because they, uh, oh, dear, here they are. Hold on a second, Ruby. There we go. You see, here's what I think is happening. It, this is pretty clear, Ruby. I don't know if it's going to mean anything. Hold on just a second here. Let me get this up here so we can take a quick look at it. It looks like we're going to get up to about 130 in the cattle. At that point, Ruby, uh, you're going to have a three drive to a top pattern. And you're going to have a couple of ABCDs up in there between that one, between 130 and 131. So watch that very closely. That's a really nice three drive pattern. And as you can see, the pattern is still, the, the, the market is still pretty strong. So we want to be able to take a look at that. We'll be able to see that. Okay, okay. Jim is selling us a California driver's license are now in gray scale and not color for easier facial recognition. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Boy, I'll tell you. Wow, unbelievable. Okay, now we'll take a look at the little piggies. Now, here again, folks, just remember, we had this swine fee over in China, and look look what's been happening to hogs. They've been in a bear market for over almost a year. While the Chinese people have lost uh, so many of their hogs, they didn't buy hardly any of ours, as you can see. But we're at major support down here at around 74. As long as we stay above 72, the hogs got a chance. But I really believe we're getting ready to make it top here in the cattle market, Ruby. So pay attention to that at the 130 level. Uh, that's another one. Uh, one other one that we're watching very, very closely, of course, is the coffee market. And we're very, we, I think we might even be here today. I'm not sure. You folks will have to try me out because I don't really uh, do coffee. But we should be right at near 111. This is going to be the, the Custer's last stand in coffee because we need to hold 111. Uh, could someone let me know where coffee is trading today? I didn't check it because I've been too interested in gold and stocks, and so I haven't uh, really checked it. But 111 should be the bottom. If you buy the coffee at 111, you put a stop at 19, and that's it. And if you're happy, if it works, you're going to be very happy. And if you're wrong, you're going to be just a little bit wiser. And that's what those patterns are all about, folks. It's just about probability. And we 
we come back from the break, I'm going to share with you a quick review of what we're going to be looking at when I do this 24-7 uh, web, uh, webinar on the 29th. I hope you don't miss it because there's going to be all new stuff. There will be a few old little things to review them, but there's some really great things in there on patterns that the probabilities that look pretty good. So let's pay attention to that, and we'll see what happens. When we get back from the break, I want to talk to you just a little bit about uh, this coin toss thing that David – uh, worked on, David Paul worked on, and uh, just to show you how it can uh, change the outlook of what you're, what you're looking at. So I hope that helps. So we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Larry Pezzavento has just announced a special 90-minute live webinar taking place this month for subscribers to his Fibonacci 24-7 trading service. On January 29th, from 4 till 5.30 p.m., Larry will be covering how to read supply and demand and how, in combination with his trademark ABCD patterns, you can control risk and maximize profit in today's algo-dominated markets. In this live 90-minute webinar, Larry will cover a hidden in plain sight trend change pattern that gives you early entry into the trend, how to find and update the key harmonic numbers to trade against in futures, forex, and stocks, how to translate three go-to patterns into supply and demand, and how to use them for entries, the continued importance of the opening price in 2020, and how to use the time of day when taking a position and for entry into longer trends. Sign up now by clicking on the newsletter tab on the front page of TFNN.com and select Fibonacci 24-7. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I've got a special chart here that I want to bring to your attention. Shane Smolian just... Uh just sent it on to us about the uh, Federal Reserve. And uh, let's get this up so we can see it clearly here. And you'll be able to see. And this is what Ray Dalio and uh, Tudor Jones was talking about. 
and we'll be able to take a look at this here. You can see here that this thing has been, they're still pumping it in, so you can see that, that there's probably no reason. Now, we'll do one thing at a time. Remember what I said. I When I look at these patterns, I'm just basically trading them because it gives you a risk-reward shot with a really good uh, possibility of uh, whether the patterns are going to work. And we know that the positive expectation, expect, expectancy on these pa patterns is extremely good. Andrew Lowe proved that in his book so that's uh that's neither here nor there so let's uh keep a close uh, eye on this as we walk through if you'll remember we were talking about this uh hold on one second i want to get this other one up to uh, take a quick look at it here that's not the one i wanted to see where is it here okay oh, shut the front door and raise the rent uh oh Oh, let's uh, – for all, we got a question here. Hold on a second here. We've got a question about the gold. Folks, uh, the gold does not look very good. Uh, we, we talked about this over the weekend. We talked about it Sunday. We talked about it Monday. And it's just not acting very good at all. So that – and actually, crude oil is not acting much better either. So both of those are not doing pretty – not doing very well at all. Okay, I want to share with you something that uh, David Paul talked about. And this is uh, – let's just get this up here to take a quick look at it. And uh, this is a primer of some of the stuff that we're going to be looking at. All right, let's look on here. Uh, where would be a good price to get short on the crude oil? I'd say around 58.32, somewhere in that ballpark. Look at the retracements. That'll give you a rough idea. All right. I like this quote that David put in there from, from Richard Wyckoff. Unless you completely discard all news reports, tips, corporate statements, crop situations, da 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 you'll be unable to get the best results from your market position. I love that quote, and uh, who knows. Okay, let's take a look. 3320, I don't know what that means, uh, Maria. Remember, if you're happy... And it's, you're going to be right, but if you're wrong, you're just going to be a little bit wiser. So remember that. All of, let's just take a look at this, folks. This is the this is one million coin tosses, folks, done by a computer. One million coin tosses done by a computer, and what you're seeing is the theory of runs. In other words, you see you have one win, and then you have two losses, and then a win, and then five losses. But this is over a million times, so it's 50-50. At the end of this, at the end of this thing, after one million, you're going to have 50% wins and 50 percent losses but in between there can be a huge 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 be you know unbelievable so that's it well we went short to s p sunday night at uh, 33 uh, 26 i believe we have a stop at break even now uh, we sold gold at uh, 15 uh, 66 and we have a really big profit in that. We've locked in a thousand bucks, so that's what we're watching. I don't know, folks. I, I, you know, I don't really. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to go into this anymore. Okay, it's all about probability and pattern recognition, folks. That's really what it's all about. It doesn't mean very much at all. The thing that scares me is when you see everybody at Davos and everybody on the TV is, you know, looking for two more years of the bull market, which they can certainly be right, and they probably will be. But when you see that much coming in uh, and nobody on the other side of it, you got to be careful. Uh, if you, we saw this, and I've seen it so many times, I can't even remember. But just follow the patterns. You know, we've had a vertical pattern up here. The reason for the short in the S and P was very simple. We had 1.618 expansions on the Dow Jones, the E mini S and P, the Nasdaq went a little bit higher, but that's mainly because of five stocks, and uh, the Russell actually is the one to sell because that's been that couldn't even make new highs. So that's all I'm looking at. You know, that's uh, you know, who knows. I We'll see. One, one, one or the other doesn't make any difference. Here's another one that's interesting. Here, another bits of information sent to us by Rich Anderson. Do you realize that 75 to 80 percent of all the volume in the stock market is on algo trading? And believe me, they're not looking at fundamentals. They're looking at keywords that are popping into the news and stuff like that. But that's neither here nor there. So. That's what we're watching, so pay close attention to it. May or may not mean something. That I don't know. Now, the next one we want to take a look at here is Bitcoin. By the way, if you want to call in, it's 877-927-6648. Okay, as we look at Bitcoin here, you can see three lower tops going back into August. That makes this a 135 pattern, so 9200 is going to be really difficult for Bitcoin to get above this level. 
and uh, we're trading at 86.60. We've sold off $600 over the weekend just after hitting that uh, number up there. And uh, now if we get above 92, what you want to be watching for now is for a watch for a retracement. Watch for a 61% retracement down to 7,600 and then take a look at it. Remember, Bitcoin trades 24 hours a day, seven days a week based on the different exchanges that you have. And believe me, folks... Boy, you can take a coin toss on that, whether it's all legitimate, because you have to have electronic wallets and all the other things that are going on. Oh, one other tidbit of information. The CEO from Marriott was on uh, today on CNBC from Davos, and they asked him of all these hotels that Marriott has all over the world, which is the nicest? And he said, hands down, Hong Kong. He said the lobby is on the 98th floor, and it goes all the way up to floor 126. You can see into China, Macau, all of that stuff. So be uh, Bitcoin profits descending trend line. Is Bitcoin never got above 9,200? Did it? Uh, oh well, we'll see. Anyway, I'm not involved with Bitcoin. I post a chart because people ask me to take a look at it, and uh, that's really what I'm watching here. Let's see how we're doing this morning. If we've uh, regained all of our well, we've. Well, look at the NASDAQ has almost made new highs again, and the S&P has got all the way up to 3324, so evidently the flu and all that other stuff really doesn't mean much, but we'll we'll have to, uh, to wait and see uh, what's really happening. Look at how quickly it moves when it opens up here. The buyers come in, and we rallied, uh, rallied 10 points right at the opening, so we'll watch it as we uh, go through here uh, taking a look at it. All right. Uh, the Treasury bonds, folks, the Treasury bonds have had some really strong resistance. I want to get this up here to uh, take a look at it so you'll be able to see the bonds. This is another one that, uh, well, the, the quantitative easing is not uh, on the opening, I don't believe. That's just, just orders coming in and all that is. Let's take a look here at the gold market. I just wanted to bring this uh, pattern to your attention last night that we were watching really closely. And as you can see here, uh, we uh, went up, made the ABCD pattern there at 1568. We went short of 1566. And then uh, we're, we just uh, began covering at uh, 1549 here uh, this morning to see if, because uh, it's got a really good uh, profit in it. And we also want to, uh, if you have two units on, is to put your second unit at a buy stop at around uh, 1559 is what I would be uh, looking at. So that's it. Uh, I am biased because you're long. You should be biased. Nothing wrong with being a bias, uh, long or short. But just remember, when you have a bias, it's like a person that's standing on the right side getting ready to take off for a race. you got a big, uh, big lead. But if you do it the wrong way, you're going to fall down. Just make sure that you put your stops in because there's going to be a lot of things happening in these markets that people will not believe. So 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you'd like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. 
The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a uh, quick look at Tesla. If you remember, we were watching Tesla the other day here. Get this up here. Hold on one second. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Uh, this won't do it. This will do it. Hold on a minute here. And uh, there we go. Oh, by the way, Shane told me that the the Fed comes in here this first hour between 9.30 and 10.30 New York. That's their first movement. So whatever they do, they're doing it. Anyway, uh, we're back up to around 15.20, I believe, in the Tesla. We had a really nice little signal there that lasted for about 10 bucks, But on a $500 stock, that's a, that's a heartbeat. It really isn't very much. We'll be able to see. Yes, we are going to start to see volatility increase in everything, folks. I really believe that very very, very strongly. And I, I think that will be something that will uh, be easy to see very, very quickly. Now, I didn't do the DAX this morning because I wanted to show the uh, weekly of the FTSE and also the DAX. And here is the DAX weekly chart. As you can see here, we've matched the high, almost matched the high that we made in 2018. We have a three drive to a top pattern. We have the big ABCD patterns. That's similar to what we're seeing in the Dow Jones and New York Stock Exchange Index. It's the NASDAQ that has been going crazy, and that's mainly because of those six or seven, well, it was about a dozen stocks that make it really crazy. Now, there's a possibility, folks, that we could melt up uh, in the market here because of the fact that we are watching something that could be. Uh, you know, really, really, really crazy because Google actually, let's just show you how uh, how Google looks because you want to see a, a stock that could be just absolutely uh, unbelievably bullish. And that's Google here. This, this is the uh, long-term daily on this. You notice we were setting right at the 61% retracement and we gapped above it. And we gapped substantially above it, about $20 above that 1.618 level. And that, to me, is uh, extremely important. Now, those are just a few of the things that we're watching. By the way, we will have Tim Bost as our guest on Thursday. Uh, Tom Hugard will be our guest on uh, Friday. So we want to be able to uh, enjoy what they have to talk to us about. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy uh, the part about how these uh, – Coin tosses, how they how they affect the trading, because it's it's truly amazing, uh, the theory of runs and, and expect expectancy that you have to view when you're when you're putting your trades on. You know what your what your risk is per trade, because it will vary based on. Uh, you know, the, the value of what you're looking at and also the volatility. It's very, very important. I wanted to bring this one up here, which was the uh, S&P here. If you let, Let's just get this up because this is what we're watching. We got down to uh, 08 last night, which was a perfect number. 30, uh, 3308 was a perfect 382 retracement, telling you that the market still hadn't broken. If we get below 3308, then you can say this is the first time we've broken a major pattern here over the past, uh, oh, what? 
three or well, at least a couple of months, I would think, uh, since November. That's what we'd be watching here. We have a question here. One second. And uh, there's the, still the E-minis. I'm doing the best I can, Al, so just hang in there, buddy. I'm coming. It's a little slow out here in the Pueblo today. And as you can see here, we've hit some major uh, numbers up here in the Dow E-mini. The thing that's really concerning is when you see something like the the Barrons. But I don't know if anybody reads Barrons anymore. I haven't, I haven't seen a Barrons newspaper in a in a supermarket or anything for years. But uh, uh, when they start putting stuff on the things like that, that's uh, that's it. The other thing, don't ever be on the on the uh, cover of Time magazine because that's usually the kiss of death. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's uh, what we're watching is a lot of a lot of enthusiasm, and there should be folks. This market's been going up for ten years. We've never had a bull market bigger than 10 years. This is bigger than 1929 even. Uh, 29, it went up for eight years. So we get another two, three, four, five, six years. Who knows what it's going to be? I wanted to bring this to your attention. This is the Boeing chart. This is what I thought was very interesting. Tom had sent us his picture of this, and all I'm going to do is to show you the head and shoulders pattern that Tom had drawn, but he didn't draw it as a head and shoulders pattern. He just drew it as a pattern. I'm drawing it as a head and shoulders pattern. Now, what I want you to look at is on the far left there in June of last year, you see that Pentagon that's right there, and then go over where we are back here in November of this year. Do you see that Pentagon that was right there? Okay, that means they were that was trading at 376 back in June of last year, and it, at that time in November it was trading at 376. So that's a head and shoulders pattern. Look at the time symmetry, and not only that, if you look at the time between July and November, there's another perfect head and shoulders pattern. These are the patterns that Dr. Andrew Lowe put in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, where he proved that markets not only do they repeat, but they repeat with a frequency and predictability that is predictable. Now, it's not predictable 100%, but it's predictable within limits. And that's what you're trying to do when you're looking at things. You have to know what that expectation, expectancy is on the trades that you're doing. If you're doing an ABCD type trade, your expect, expectancy of winning is better. Better than 60%. If you're doing a 135 pattern, the expectancy is better than 75%. If you're doing a Gartley pattern, the expectations expect, expectancy is uh, is roughly uh, is roughly 70%. A three drive to a top pattern is roughly 75 to 80%. But they they do fail, and that's the whole key of what these ratios and patterns are all about. Is they give you a risk parameter in order to trade around the patterns. It's not about trying to pick predict a top or trying to predict a bottom. It's trying to predict a pattern that you might be able to make some money on. That, that's all it is, folks. Nothing nothing more, nothing less. Those are just the things that uh, that you're that you're paying attention to. So that's uh, that's what it looks like. So we'll see how it all ends up here. But right now we've got the S&P is uh, still down on the day, but not by much. Uh, down about, what, nine from the high or something like that. No big deal. Uh, we got gold down. That's trading at 1550 right now. And so and the bonds are uh, still up a little bit. The bonds need to get above that 154.14, folks, or they're going to have some problems. That's the way it looks like to me uh, as we walk through this uh, today and looking at some of these things. Uh, uh, someone asked a question, what is, it, what is the... Uh, the prognosis for natural gas. After a big break like that, folks, I like to see uh, what happens over the next couple of days because if all that was was uh, just some type of a news announcement that washed out a bunch of stops, then I would say yes. Uh, then I would say, you know, it's probably not going to uh, not going to mean very much at all. So we'll see if, in fact, any of this stuff means anything uh, in the longer longer term uh, of this thing right here if we're watching. So pay close attention. That's uh, that's what we're watching here uh, this morning. All right, let's move on here uh, to talk about the grain markets just a little bit. Wow, my goodness. 877-927-6648. If you have any questions, why we've got a break coming up again. Uh, Let's just try to cover the soybeans here because I really think that uh, there's a chance here if we get a little bit of a pullback in these soybeans that we could have a uh, a little bit of a move. And uh, that's one of the things that uh, we've got to keep a close eye on. Let's just get this up here and take a look at it because right now as we come in today, we've got a really nice ABCD pattern setting at the 50% level. As long as the March beans can stay above 920, 
If March beans can stay above 920, they still have a bullish bias. Anything below 920, 919, 918, it's not good. So the amount you have to be to be a month, the amount you have to be a farmer now is very small. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls to sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, wanted to uh, mention that... Uh, to review the fact that we will have Tim Boston on, on Thursday, Tom Hugard uh, on Friday, and that's a couple of things that I think are very, very important. <clears throat> I wanted to bring to your attention uh, one other uh, part of this uh, situation that we're looking at in the stock market, and the fact that we had that Google gap up like that, that could be a meltdown. We could be seeing something like, well, we've already seen something historical. We've never seen anything like this before. We're up 10 years in a row, but that doesn't mean we can't go 11 or 12 or anything. If we get above 13, excuse me, 53.30, uh, that would tell us that this S&P is uh, breaking out to the upside. So we'll have to wait and see whether this flu thing means anything in China 
uh, or not, or Hong Kong, wherever it is, we'll have to wait and see. The, these are things that the news blows completely out of proportion, just like what we're going to see in the next three or four weeks here with the impeachment stuff. It's going to be uh, really crazy. Now, it won't be as fun as watching uh, Bill Clinton's because his had sex in it. Well, they'll probably bring some in here somehow. I don't know how they'll do it, but it's just a great way for the news casters to make a lot of money with those commercials and get their real readership up until uh, the Super Bowl comes up. That's the, the thing that you want to pay uh, very, very close attention to. Uh, all right, let's move on. Oh, we're almost at the end of the show here. So I'll have to uh, leave you with the, uh, let's get this up here. Uh, we had major support down there in the gold, folks, at the 61% retracement at 1548. That was uh, pretty much spot on. So we'll I'll we'll keep a very, very close uh, eye on uh, that as we keep watching some of these patterns. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And I'll see you folks on the flip side tomorrow for a happy Wednesday.